Hello, my friends. Uh, welcome. We are going to show you how to use Stata at home so that you can do your homework uh, not while you're in the lab, if you can't make it to the lab, although I would recommend doing it in the lab. Uh, I'm going to show you how this works. So, you are going to go ahead and head to cloudapps.byu.edu. Go ahead and open that up. And here at the button where it says log into cloud apps, go ahead and log in. Well, hit the button, right? Now the way that you log in, of course, you can do uh, your net ID at byu.edu, or you can just do byu backslash your net ID, and then you go ahead and put in your password, and this is gonna tell you that it's wrong because you typed it wrong, and then you'll be able to get in. Great stuff. <clears throat> I don't want to save that password. Now you can see here I have some recent apps open, but if you've never opened Cloud Apps before, what you're going to do is you're going to come down here to Apps, over here on the left, and go to All Apps. And you're going to scroll down until you find Stata. Go ahead and give it a click. It'll open in a new tab. And what this is doing is it's opening a remote desktop to a BYU computer. And so this window is not going to be looking on your computer for any files that you have stored there. So if you're trying to change your directory to like your home, like your desktop or whatever, it's not going to work. So while this is opening up, let's come back over to Citrix Workspace, uh, this first tab that opened up with the list of apps, and you're going to want to open as well, uh, where is it? There it is, Box. Go ahead and open Box as well. It should, over here in this window, start to open up Box as well. And uh, maybe I'll go ahead and cut to when that starts working if it takes too long, but if it uh, you can go ahead and block it from using the camera. Looks like everything is loading up just fine. Here we are. Now I've got Box open, which is great, because now I have a folder that I can upload things to that Stata can look at. So the first thing that I would do once you get here, you can see that this is looking in C Users Morgantel. That means it's not looking in like my computer, because my computer is called Tommy.Mac, or you know whatever your computer is called. So the first thing I would do is I would hit CD uh, and change the, and by hit, I mean enter in a command to change the directory to C drive slash users backslash your net ID backslash box. And what that's going to do is it's going to let you take a look at every file that's here inside of your box. Let me just um, do a quick directory command. That has the abbreviation DIR. Uh, well, I guess it's just dir then. And that shows you that Stata is currently looking in my box folder. Now, if you need to go upload something, again, you can go to byu.app or whatever. You can also just go to box.byu.edu. This will take you to a page that will let you log into box. And then you'll sign in with your NetID and your password for your NetID, just like you'd sign into a computer here in the lab. It will probably call you on Duo, which is really annoying because my phone is over here. Give me a sec. We love Duo. We love, love, love Duo, right? There we go, we're approved. Uh, don't keep me signed in, whatever. And now here's Box. It's kind of just like Google Drive where you can just upload files and you can just go ahead and, of course, maybe I want to use this intersection safety CSV that I have saved here. Well, here it is, intersection safety device tickets issued by month, that CSV. I can go ahead and pull that up now because I'm looking at Box. So. That is everything you need to be able to run Stata at home. Cloud apps first. Log into Cloud apps, pick Stata, pick Box, get all the files you need to use uploaded to Box, change your directory over to your Box file, again, on the BYU Remote Desktop, and you should be good to go from there. Have a great one. Good luck on the homeworks and on whatever else you decide to do with that.